Welcome back to Chasing News. I'm Bill Spadia. We got a lot more show coming up for you tonight. Halloween right around the corner. Some in law enforcement warning parents about what could be in that candy their kids get. But first, we're crying foul on an event that took place in 2011. A guy gets hit with a foul ball at a Yankees game and he sues to recover the medical cost. Now his medical cost topped $160,000. A judge dismissed the case saying essentially that he backed up what the Yankees had contended that on the back of that ticket, there's a warning that said you are responsible to know the dangers when you're going to a ball game. I've got the guy here for you tonight. His name is Andy Zlotnick. Andy, welcome to Chasing News. Andy, just describe for everyone, where were you sitting that day? I understand it was raining. This was uh, weather on the heels of Hurricane Irene, and there were people with umbrellas in the crowd. I was sitting in right field in the third row, uh, probably about 200 feet from home plate. And he ripped a line drive shot. I never saw the pitch. I never saw the, the swing. I never saw the trajectory of the ball. I heard the, I heard the crack of the bat and then it was boom. What's it like for you today? It's been six years and I know that you're still receiving medical treatment for the injuries that you suffered back in 2011. So I have metal plates in my face today. I have pain in my face 24 hours uh, a day, every day of the week. I have double vision. I have retina damage. I have nerve damage. I can't feel my lips. So I, this is six years later. I still have these serious injuries. Andy, on the back of the ticket, there's a very specific warning, and it says you, as the bearer of the ticket, assume the risks and the dangers of being at the ballpark. What do you say to people that say, hey, the judge was right to throw it out? I mean, come on. It's in black and white on the ticket. You know, it's sort of an abstract thing. They say you assume the risk of, of any injury in the ballpark, but that's that's actually not really fair because the game is completely it's completely different today. It's much more dangerous. When they first printed that on the back of the ticket 50 years ago, the game was a very different game. Today, we have smaller bar ballparks that bring fans much closer to the action, which is great for the fans, but it's also much closer to the danger. Thank you, Andy. Still obviously a long road ahead for you. All right, let's bring in our A-plus panel to break this down. I'm joined by Frank Luna, who is the Chief of Staff in District for Congressman Tom MacArthur. Good to see you, Frank. Thanks for sticking with me. And Bob Bianchi, former Morris County Prosecutor. Bob, I want to start with you. What about his point, uh, and I think it's a very good point, that there are uh, many major league teams, about eight that I understand, who have banned the use of umbrellas because his point, he's saying, look, my view was obstructed by the umbrellas. I did not see this Hideki Matsui ball coming at my face. I think he makes a great point with this, yeah. that they have to be able to control the stadium, the environmental factors of what's happening there. And if a person's view is obstructed, assuming you can even see and defend yourself from it, these umbrellas prevented him from making those observations. I don't get this, and the Yankees were wrong to not give him anything back. I mean, Andy's got long-term injuries. He's seeing a retina specialist. I mean, $160,000 in medical bills. I, I, aren't you shocked that the Yankees didn't step up and offer some compromise somewhere? Help the guy out, for God's sakes. That can set a dangerous precedent down the line. And then if They're not lacking the money. If somebody slips in the in an aisle on a piece of popcorn, then do you have to get that person it's, a new pair of shoes? It's I mean, terrible. Hey, where it's do you once again, the, it's a tough thing all around. the arrogance of these big companies. It's horrible PR, and had they done the right Right thing, we wouldn't be talking about it right now. Well, they're paying these guys to play a game for tens of millions of dollars a year in many cases, and just another example of a little guy getting screwed by the 1%. Awful. All right. Thanks, guys. Bob, good to see you. Frank, thanks for being here.